This is Kurt Ocean, and you're watching Fight Mike MMA. Hey guys, it's Mike Placente with Fight Mike MMA. Today here, we're here with Josh Berkovic. How you doing, man? I'm doing well. Thank you for having me. So you train here at Gilmer Lendez El Nino. How long have you been training here, and what got you into mixed martial arts? I've been at El Nino Training Center um, since the gym opened. Um, that was back in early 2012, and uh, even before that, I was training with uh, Johnson on the Wooden Man, who's um, one of the head coaches here and head of the Muay Thai program. So. I was with Johnson on since uh, 2010, so for four years now, and uh, I've been with uh, Gil and El Nino Training Center since the gym opened in 2012. What were you doing before mixed martial arts, and if you weren't fighting now, what would you be doing? Before mixed martial arts, I was working uh, in finance. I was working in finance. I moved out to San Francisco in 2010, right out of college, and um, started working immediately. I majored in economics, so I was working in finance as an analyst. Yeah. If I wasn't fighting, though, I don't think that I would still be doing that. Um, it, was, uh, it was cool. It was a great experience working as an analyst, but uh, not for me at this point in my life right now. You know, I realized that uh, I didn't want to be sitting down for most of my day. That wasn't really uh, my idea of what I wanted to be spending my time doing. And, and uh, I just completely fell in love with uh, mixed martial arts and, and the discipline and the lifestyle. And so for me, it was really a progression from working full time, having a you know, nine to five career, and putting more and more time in at the gym and uh, making a dream come true. So um, for all you young fighters out there, you know, it's definitely possible. Wherever you are in your journey, uh, you, can, you can make it, you can turn your life into whatever you want, you know. So if you want to be a professional fighter, if you think about it, that's something you really want to do with your life. Apply yourself and diligently make the transition, you know, as possible. That was one of my uh, goals when I, when I first started was to inspire others to do what I was doing um, and show that it could be done. So you can do it. So you're five and zero. Oh. Yes. Four out of your five fights, you finish your opponents, which is not an easy thing to do. What got you to this level, where you're step into the ring, you're comfortable, and you've been able to submit these fighters, you've been able to TKO one. What what is it in your training that has got you to where you are now? Um, I have to give the credit to my teammates and my coaches and um, the system we have here at El Nino Training Center and uh, the Scrap Pack Brotherhood. Really, you know, we have Nick and Nate out in Stockton and um, it's it just just an amazing uh, cast of coaches and teammates. Um, I train under Gilbert Melendez, Johnson on the Wooden Man, Jake Shields. Uh, all these guys are just um, fantastic instructors. My jiu-jitsu coach, Daniel Marks, and uh, it's, it's just a great team. Um, it's really a family. And so when it, it just becomes your lifestyle, that's what makes it comfortable, right? I don't feel like when I'm stepping into the cage that I'm doing anything different than what I'm doing for most of my life all the time, day in and day out. Um, I think it's the lifestyle here, the community here, and uh, the quality of instruction in, in the myriad of martial arts. Uh, we have amazing stand-up from a world-class uh, Muay Thai coach who's won championships himself and coach fighters two championships. Uh, we have amazing uh, jiu-jitsu, um, both uh, you know the traditional gi style of jiu-jitsu with uh, Moses Baca as the black belt instructor here, Caesar Gracie black belt, and then we have Daniel Marks leading the no-gi jiu-jitsu program. So um, whatever you want to learn, then uh, of course uh, Travis Lee, um, who's a uh, two-time national champ and four-time All-American, runs our wrestling program here. And uh, so it's just fantastic. Any aspect of the game we have covered, all you have to do is apply yourself. All you have to do is, um, for me, I believe if I believe in my coaches, if I believe in my team, and I believe in myself, then I'll put myself in the best position to win. You know, trust in your coaches, trust in your system, trust in yourself, and uh, sky's the limit. That's great. So some people seem to think, fighters seem to think, that it's not a good thing to have sexual intercourse before a fight. I know it's something a lot of people don't talk about. What do you think about that? Um, at the way that I look at things, I try to always look at them, you know, pretty scientifically for myself. You know, so not so much what I believe, but what I've experienced through trial and error, my own, my own trial and error. I would say it's probably best to refrain from sexual intercourse before your fight, just as far as focus, um, as far as getting a good night good night's rest you know each night I think that's important I think staying focused is important so for me personally it's up to everyone to make their own decision but for me personally um, probably about uh, probably about three four weeks last fight I think was even like maybe six weeks six weeks of um, 
of abstaining from from sexual activity before the fights yeah i've thought about actually being a fighter but now that you've said that <laughs> i don't think i want to <laughs> so where did you grow up have did you grow up here in the bay area san francisco or where yeah. did you uh, I'm from Montclair, New Jersey. Big shout out to Montclair, New Jersey. Um, you know, because I fight out of San Francisco. I've lived here for the past four years, and um, it's it's a awesome home for me. I definitely call San Francisco home. However, I am from Montclair, New Jersey, from New Jersey, and that's where I was born and raised um, all the way all the way through my college years. So, um, Montclair, New Jersey is where I'm from. That's where I was raised. Dana White, he's five and zero. Oh. Can you call a brother? You got one last thing to say? I just want to say thank you to all the fans out there for your support. And um, uh, I'm, I'm really uh, grateful to be part of this process, be part of this movement of mixed martial arts, part of this sport. So um, let's keep building. Let's keep building. And I believe it's the best sport in the world. And sky's the limit for all of us. So keep pushing on. And uh, thank you. There you heard it, guys. Josh Berkovich, Scrap Pack, San Francisco, California, El Nino. By Mike May. signing out.